Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and my last video that I put up was on interference because of uh, weak signals and uh, conflicting signals and so forth but I got to thinking later there's a little more detail that we could go into uh, with the settings and the uh, the information that our DJI uh, Mavic or the other all the other drones uh, have something similar to this and uh, about the video download uh, from the drone to the uh, controller. So if we want to look at the information on that, we can either go to the main menu and click on HD, or we can go up to the top of the screen and click on HD, and we get this little menu. Now, we'll look at channel, and we'll look at channel mode in a moment or two. But uh, the next thing down is the view status. Now you'll notice I have everything on like auto and dual and everything. So we'll click on view status and that shows us the frequency uh, and the band that the, uh, the drone is transmitting on. Okay, So you can see that if you look at the very bottom of this little uh, window, it's on uh, 5725.5 gigahertz that's the low end of the band it's on and the high end of the band is 57.45.5 gigahertz now if you look down to the downlink bandwidth it's 20 megahertz and so if you look at that if you subtract one of those numbers from the other you'll get 20 megahertz now that might change from time to time but anyway that's that's what that's reading so the download bandwidth is 20 megahertz now down below that is the transmission quality and you can see that's changing uh, because of interference and so forth so right now it's reading 11.13 megabytes per second all right that's the uh, uh, number of uh, megabytes it's transmitting down because of its ability to reach reach the uh, the controller and in this case the controllers in my office and the uh, the uh, Mavic is sitting out on my wife's sewing table looking out the kitchen window. So uh, that's a lot better than last time I did this and I had it in the bathroom. That keeps the noise out of the video. And then finally down at the bottom, it's the, the, the HD mode. And so uh, that is the mode that it's transmitting down to uh, our, our monitor, uh, our tablet, or our phone. And I got it on HD mode, and that's probably the best. It does use up a little, mem a little more memory. And uh, but if we go, if we go back to normal mode, okay, there's not a whole lot of difference. But if you take a look at those leaves out there uh, on the left side uh, on the uh, screen out there, now I'll go back to HD mode, and you can see they become much sharper. Okay, and so that's much more enjoyable if you're flying, and uh, uh, so that's what a it's a good idea for me to leave it on there especially if you're flying fpv because if you're flying fpv then uh you want the sharpest picture that you can get uh because if it's up to your you got your goggles on uh for me it's really hard to see clear anyway so anyway that's what that's about but let's go back to the top and we've got it set on dual channel and so let me see what options we have we can either go to 5.8 or 2.4 now if we wanted to go to 2.4 we click on that and then you'll notice look at the uh, the interference that I've got in my neighborhood with uh, 2.4 which is why I <laughs> I had so much trouble with my old uh, bebop because there was so much interf interference from the televisions and so forth Wi-Fi's up and down the block and over to the right of this uh, little window, you'll notice it says approximately one kilometer, and down below that is approximately four kilometers. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Well, uh, let's go back to let's go to five gigahertz. Okay. And right now, the well, let's see, let's see if that goes away. Yeah, right now, five gigahertz is way down by the bottom. So that means if if we're below this line that. Uh, approximate four kilometers line that tells us that if they're below that line we should be able to approximate getting out to four kilometers which is what something about a mile and a half where I live here so uh, you know I could probably uh, get out that far uh, using uh, 
if everything's below there. Now you notice it's going up on that five gigahertz, but where I've the part of the channel that I'm working on uh, is st it's still low. So uh, if I were to go back to 2.4 gigahertz, uh, you can see that I'm not going to have much chance of getting to um, getting getting out to four kilometers uh, and uh, it might even be hard to get out to one kilometer okay so it's automatic automatically switching channels for me and if I want to stop it from doing that I can I can go down here and click on custom and then I can slide it to wherever I want you know I can bring it over to the far right oh <laughs> it doesn't like that it went it went let me get cuss I got custom okay so it doesn't like that I don't know if it's going to let me change it or not bring it over there no it's not gonna like that so I don't know why it's wanting to do that but it is all right so we'll go back to uh, we'll go back to auto and uh, oh no no that's on custom no it's not never mind I'm, I'm the most confused guy in the world okay so it's on auto okay so you can see why 2.4 uh, if you look at the bottom here it's 2.2 2 point I mean 2424.5 4, 2 to 2444.5 and the bandwidth is still about 20 megahertz all right so you can see why uh, I wouldn't be able to fly very far with the interference that I've got um, I may be able to go one kilometer approximately uh, according to the line that goes across there now so let's go back to uh, let's go back to 5 gigahertz and you can understand why I prefer 5 gigahertz to uh, and the Mavic to the to the Bebop because uh, uh, the channel that is sitting on right there right now I could it, it, it supposedly get out about a mile and a half uh, with a normal with normal antenna setup and so forth so that's what that's all about and uh, if you like if it, I, I've got a video that I've uh, I'm gonna add behind this of when I went out to look at the uh, the remains of the house that burned down that I or the barn that I burnt that burned down that I took a video of a few months ago so anyway this is a, a an interesting thing to look at and I would you know if you're in a crowded Wi-Fi area I would just leave it on 5.8 gigahertz now you can you can switch you can use dual and it'll probably stick on 5.8 gigahertz if you're in town now when you get further out according to some of the things that they say the lower the frequency the further out you can go at these uh, at these uh, gigahertz gigahertz frequencies but uh, anyway if you leave it on dual you'll probably be okay but if you don't want if you don't want to uh, take a chance of losing signal uh, in a high Wi-Fi area leave it on 5.8 gigahertz and you'll have a lot less trouble now you can see that there are some in 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 interference situations but uh, it's much less than if we go to 2.4 2.4 is as full of uh, interference from other Wi-Fi's so uh, so there that's how that does and I am not sure why we can't do the custom thing maybe I can get it to go down there well it went went one went a little bit but anyway haven't figured that one out yet but we'll get to oh let's see uh, by the way, when we change, change when we change to um, custom, we can go between a megahertz, ten megahertz bandwidth, like that, or a twenty megahertz bandwidth. So that's with the two point four. Let me see if we. I don't think that works with a five point eight. Oh yeah, there we go. We can go between twenty megahertz and ten megahertz. So. Uh, we can actually narrow down that bandwidth. I didn't realize that until just right now. Live and learn, as they say in Plain Rex. <laughs> All right, so let's get on to the uh, the experiment that I ran uh, this morning and just has a couple more examples of different areas, and I looked at the screen to see what it was like, plus a review of what's going on where the, where the barn burned down. All right, so let's move on.